What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today we are going to finally start making some more progress with the villagers and we are going to start by getting us a zombie so we can start with some of the uh, zombie villager conversion stuff. So what I'm going to do is I've got our little zombie falling hole right there and with any luck we should be able to just kind of block this off to the doorway here which will give him nowhere to go but to follow follow me basically and then one other thing that I will need since I do not have a um, name tag is we are going to hope that this particular zombie that we find can hold a uh, hold a sword so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that wall back in we got the door taken down and now we're just going to uh, wait until nightfall and try to lure lure this guy in here so actually i'm just gonna close that so i can walk over it but yeah so i'm just going to uh wait another little bit here in game for night and uh we'll join back up once we got some got some zombie action looks like we got more more baby villagers being born so yeah we'll join back up as soon as we got the zombie or as soon as it's nighttime and we'll try to wrangle one of these dudes up to get into our contraption here. Actually, I guess this would be a good time to show you while we wait what we've currently got. So, got a little drop shoot right there. That's that trap door. And then another trap door on the inside of that block placed like that so that the zombie will fall. It's all fully encased in glass. This is where the villagers come through. So they drop here and then would get hit by the zombie and then we could cure them and get to work so let's just go ahead and plug that back up and it looks like it actually should be getting dark any moment now so that's perfect so i guess i am just going to wait and once it is dark we will reconvene Alrighty, so it is after dark we are back and i'm just kind of out looking here into the field to see if i can see any of the mobs starting to starting to pop up. I'm hoping we can find one over here in this dark forest that we can lure over, so... Gotta be careful not to get creepered. Let's see, any zombies? Anybody? There's a spider, that's not what I want. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh god, no. I could. You pick that up. I don't follow me, pick up the sword. Actually, no, he's got a block. That's perfect. He has a block. That's good enough. Okay, so now we just need to lure you back over here. Hopefully everything is still safe. Let's see if we can quickly get our blocks. Yep, come on. Right this way, buddy. Yeah. Bye. Perfect. Now we can just plug that up for the most part. And we're not going to be able to sleep downstairs. Got to go upstairs. Awesome. Okay, so we got him. Hopefully he is um, where he needs to be placed in terms of the... Um, contraption down here. And not standing on the trap door. Excellent. Now what do you say you... Yes. That's what I wanted to see. I'll take that. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for um one of these little guys up here to grow up and we can uh test this thing out. Actually, I guess this would be a good time to get started on some of the potion stuff. We'll just grab a couple bottles for now. Now it's 
sign. We're gonna need three of those. Put our door back. Perfect. I'll come over and use this guy's brewing stand, conveniently looted from a village. Surprise. Let's see. Do you need to make an awkward potion first for the? Ooh. And actually, now that we got the blaze powder, we should really make a ender chest. That would be pretty primo. And I also realize I don't have sugar cane, so I'm going to go grab obsidian and ender pearl and some sugar cane out of my chest here. Yeah. Okay, back here up in the base, now that we've got this, we can just chuck this in here, and I already messed up. It's gonna be that, and that first, and then we do those. Boom, ender chest, perfect. That's gonna go right up top here in our hot bar. Then we can come over here, and we can chuck, I believe, it's gonna be a little trial and error. We can throw the blaze powder in there, that should give us some awkward potions, and then we're going to need our... Those... And I really don't have any spider eyes over here. Okay, well, I gotta go grab spider eyes, and then we will, uh... Continue the potion. Alrighty, so we have got our fermented spider eye. We should be able to just put that right there. Nope, I did it wrong. That's okay though, so we'll take these awkward potions and we'll just chuck them in here. And we'll go ahead and make those. Okay. Now that we have the correct ingredients, we can play. Actually, we're going to pull that out for a minute. Put those in there so it. Does not accidentally brew, brew all three of them, or doesn't just brew one, I should say. And then once this is done, we can chuck our gunpowder in there and make it into a splash potion of weakness. Perfect potion of weakness. There's some gunpowder. Just wait for that to cook up. We can put all of our potion things back in here. Sounds like, oh. That was you working, not... Boom, got our splash potions of weakness. We're only gonna need one of these. Well, only one of them right now. Let's go have a gander at our little guys up here and see if any of them have reached working age yet and it would appear they have not so I'm just going to give it some time for them to grow up and then we can uh, continue with our experiment you know we've already got a few I mean I guess we could pop one of these guys out but their price is already pretty good so yeah we're going to wait for a fresh one just convert them from the get go and then go from there Alrighty, looks like our villagers have grown up, so we are just going to go ahead and make sure we have a cart in there and dispense that, grab one of them. Down he goes. And now, we'll see if this actually works. We'll get the zombie to focus off of me, and he went right through. That is not what we wanted. Alright, so it looks like there's a little bit of tinkering left to do. Let's see if we can just kind of like manually push this guy in place. We need a block that he cannot pass through here. I'm not sure what the best way to go about doing that is. Perfect, okay. Now he's zombified. Just grab our rails. And grab this. Give you a little, little launch. Grab our splash potion and our golden apple. All right, and now we play the waiting game for this guy to um, 
convert back and that could take a little bit actually it does take a little bit because i don't have any iron bars or anything set out so hmm. i wonder if we could get this guy over one block so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try to uh work on getting this guy moved over one so we can put a gap in the rails here so we can have the villagers stop on a second powered rail so this one will kind of move them along and then they'll stop right in front of the zombie and then we can continue with the uh the process here so i'm just gonna wait for this dude to do his thing and stay in the, the area here grab our let's see glass and yeah i'll uh, be right back with you all righty so we got our guy all cleared up here we got the advancement zombie doctor right there what we're going to do is just go ahead and get him into one of these little cubicles that we can uh, start trading with. And we should only need to cure him once. I don't think any of the books are so expensive that, at least in my knowledge, they're usually pretty affordable. But if we need to cure him again, we can. And the best way to make sure that these guys don't escape when you're doing this is to put blocks... All around you like this make sure there's a trap door above you and then boom he is good to go in his forever home waiting to be converted and now we can actually test take this minecart back up here and grab the other guy and see if i set this up right it's always kind of finicky getting it just right i know there's ways to automate the whole thing but i prefer to do it like this we'll set that yep Perfect. Awesome. So now we can just make a stone button here that we can use to send him along. Pop that down right there. And then get that pressed. button back who took my button oh you have it of course you have it okay well you know what I'm just gonna nudge you along oh this is painful why is everything with villagers always such a hassle luckily you only have to get this done the one time and then it So frustrating. Actually, you know we're just gonna and give you a push. And you should go. Why are you not going? Goodness. And I want my button back once you're cured. All right. So with that being done, um. I'm not 100% sure what the issue is here. I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with that block. If anybody knows why this is not like sending him along his way, let me know in the comments. But I guess for the time being, this works. So yeah, we're going to wait for that guy to cure up. And uh, I'm going to start seeing with what kind of books we can get from this dude. I still really need Feather Falling. And I've actually got a couple more pairs of boots upstairs that I need to merge together to... Uh, Combine the enchants, but if I'm lucky here, I can get one of these two to have feather falling. So I'll meet you back up once we got a decent trade, and then we can uh, keep going with some of the other projects we've got for today. All right, so we are back. Um, unfortunately, because of the Windows update, I was not able to get the clip, but we got feather falling from the villager and got it on our boots. I got a little buddy right here. We're just chilling and i figured to finish out the episode since um don't have a ton of time left but we do have enough time to pop into the nether and go down this tunnel that i have laid out to uh another place that i looked up that hopefully is actually where it's supposed to be so i'm just gonna run down to the end of this and then uh we'll get to the end we'll make a portal and we'll uh see where it takes us
All right, so here we are at the end of my tunnel. Actually, that's kind of funny. There's still some nether rack that hasn't despawned yet. But we'll just go ahead and make ourselves a nice little three by a three portal here. And fingers crossed. Oh, of course, we are on top of a tree. But this is what we were looking for. And I see actually all the things that we came for. So bamboo, cocoa beans, jungle saplings. And actually, if I can get that melon over there, that'd be great too. Now the question is, I did not bring blocks, so how I'm going to get back uh, up here, I have no elytra, I did not think to bring, you know what, we're going to do this. Perfect. And then we're going to use a tree that's not connected to that tree and grab all this jungle wood, try to get some jungle saplings. Because we can take this wood here and use it to uh, tower back up to our portal. And actually, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick F2, get a screenshot of that. Go ahead and make all that into crafting bench. Make a bunch of sticks. Up down the bench. Yeah. Sounds like it's getting dark. Boom. Alrighty. And I, I lost my friend, so. Move the microphone back a little bit closer. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and do do. Oh, you're gonna do me like that? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we've got our ladder all set up. Actually, there's quite a bit of resources, it looks like, down in this ravine. I might have to go, go snag. But in the meantime, let's just continue along our way here. We'll grab the melon. We can start farming those up. I can't remember if I've got melon seeds or not. But I will take some of these cocoa beans. I will take the entirety of this tree. Thank you very much. I will take the entirety of this tree. I said the entirety of the tree. And actually, oh, I do have my shears on me, so I can grab some of these vines I can farm later. That will be very nice. Perfect. As we battle our way through the dense foliage here to get us some bamboo. Call me bamboozled. Oh, goodness, scaffolding. I, I was, it was starting to hurt a little bit not having the, uh, the scaffolding, but now we can get the scaffolding. So that'll be good. We'll get back to the base here shortly and we can start farming up or growing some of the bamboo and hopefully get some scaffolding for uh, some of the projects coming up. Actually, I'm just going to try to get up here, grab a little bit more. See it. It'd be kind of cool to see a uh, jungle pyramid, I believe they're called now, for one of the jungle temples, but it's not really looking like there's a whole lot of. Anything. Can I climb this vine? Yes, I can. All right. Should be a good vantage point. Look for a large cobblestone structure. 
I mean, they don't really have the best loot, but it doesn't mean they're not fun. All right, well, I guess back down and back home. Let's see. So we got cocoa beans. We've got enough jungle saplings to hopefully get some of those going. We got uh, some ferns. Got some leaves I don't want. Vines are always nice and a little bit of bamboo. So we are all set. You know, it's funny, like, for such a rare biome, there really isn't that much of, like, interest in it. It's a little disappointing. Oh, and I forgot, I have feather falling now, so I can just yeet myself over the edge. Oh. Very nice. Got those. Alrighty, well, I'm going to head back to the base and we can uh, get some of this stuff thrown down and hopefully maybe I'll AFK overnight and be able to farm up some more bamboo so that we'll have it so we can actually uh, use it for our next project for the scaffolding because scaffolding is a game changer. Makes this whole biome worth tracking down. I mean, I didn't see any pandas or anything. That would have been kind of cool to bring back, but yeah. No matter, I guess I'll just go kill the squid. Grab these insects. I don't have a squid farm yet. Near you. Alrighty, and I'll see you back at the base. Alrighty, so we are back home with our haul. And I think we will take the jungle saplings and go throw them up in a line over here where we've got our uh, acacia wood farm. all of our jungle saplings in a row so those can start growing for us nope. yeah, I've just been keeping all of the uh, saplings and whatnot from harvesting the trees and in here so we got our spruce we got our oak we got our acacia and now we got our jungle going and super nice having this axe I actually need to harvest these up I'll do that off camera uh, let's see so that leaves us with the bamboo we should get that going for sure and hmm, I was thinking about putting a bridge right there. This would kind of be in the way. I guess we can just stick the bamboo kind of out of sight, out of mind back here. Might be a good place for it. So we'll just get these set up here. And then maybe next episode we'll uh, work on doing some of the redstone farms because I am super sick of harvesting. The sugar cane and the bamboo is probably going to be the same thing. I just don't want to do it. We're just getting it started right now so we can have some for the next episode to uh, stick into that farm. And then I would also really like to get automatic pumpkin and melon farms set up, assuming we've got the, um, the redstone and the resources for it. So... I think that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit that bell button so you're notified when the next video comes out. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Twitch and on Twitter so you're notified when the Twitch comes out and or a video comes out. And that's twitch.tv slash Iggy Haxer and Twitter just at Iggy Haxer. We'll see you there. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.